go in an action call here. We are in downtown Square One on the corner of Rand Park and Brethorp. It is 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna do a little walk through uh, the Bernthorpe stretch of square one. From Bernthorpe and Grand Park, on the other side is Alora, Alora Street. Yeah, so the, these condos are at least a good five years old. They're like the first few on this uh, slot. This guy hopefully doesn't want to be over. I did not see the light went on. So it is October 12th. I can't believe it's 20 degrees on October the 12th. Uh, it's crazy. I don't remember it being this warm last year. I think this is definitely not normal. Thank you. Thank you, Global Warming. So we're just going to walk the Burnthorpe stretch all the way to uh, Absolute Condos, which you see at the very end. I don't know if you can see on the camera. It is far right, but this camera is pretty, pretty wide. So yeah, this parcel land on the right that you see. So, uh, was recently was bought like a long time ago, and uh, uh, sidewalk is closed. You don't have to go on the other side. Okay, yeah. Really annoying. Uh, so like this is the this is the land that was bought by a developer, and now they're building six gigantic condos on this on this little parcel of land there'll be a road that goes down the middle maybe i can see maybe i can show you guys but i'm gonna have to cross the street eventually so time this has been recorded uh most of the burlington ride will be up right now part one is up most likely part two and part three will be up as well that's one annoying thing about uh, YouTube is the encoding process. It's the encoding process of the video. Like the uploading is very fast. You can upload a 4K 60 frame video like in an hour or two hours, depending on how long it is. But it's the encoding that happens on YouTube's end, on YouTube servers, that cause the issue. Some videos take like almost, they take almost like four days to encode. Like the Burlington uh, part one took at least four days to encode. It is really annoying. There's not much I can do. So what they do is they choose. So the, so the bigger channels, if you have a bigger channel and you have an algorithm uh, that helps you with that channel, uh, it picks you instead of, uh, obviously I have a smaller channel. I have about 11 subscribers at the moment. So it's going to be, I'm going to be the last on the pecking list to, uh, get encoded. They're obviously going to get NKVHG's video encoding first or Johnny Strike. So the sign is the M-City Condos. closer to square one on uh, square one drive that i think would be 250 at its uh, tallest length and these guys over here they're not going to be as tall as the one that they're building right now but these ones overall i think uh, the one on the far right is going to be 220 and the one on the left is going to be like 230 i think so still you know big boys for sure technically the side where Close, but it seems fine, honestly. Wait until somebody tells me to get off. Because I have to get back onto the street, uh, back onto the side eventually, so.
shot. Oh man, I'm gonna have to cross the street. So we have to cut across. Some more nice views. issue with uh, developing this much like in this area is like the roads are really dangerous like for pedestrians and like people using public transport having a three lane like high like you know road going down the middle is not like the safest thing for pedestrians I like how the bike lane is inside the uh, is on the actual sidewalk which is good but hopefully they build an LRT or maybe even, like create like a bus lane down the middle Cut down some of the traffic. What's this? Further water project. Cyclist detours. Get down now. Uh, Confederation. Oh, it's a stupid one. No, Confederation. Yeah, I don't think they've built the street out just yet, but there, there's supposed to be a street that goes down the middle of the entire project, so. Most likely retail on each side of Burnthorpe and probably on the sides. Well, that actually looks like the lobby. But yeah, it's one of the cooler design buildings in the saga, that's for sure. I don't know if they'll take over as the, you know, as absolute towers, like the biggest icons of the saga, but. This is an older, uh, you don't see many um, office buildings in Mississauga, but this is one of the first, one of the few. I've never actually been to this restaurant in Ioli, but I've heard good things about it. So we're gonna cut behind the building for a second.
I've actually never been to this side of Brentthorpe, but like uh, apparently this connects to these condo buildings right here. They've blocked off this uh, this parking lot. Most likely another development coming in. So, so far I've done walks at Clarkson Village. I've done Port Credit. I've done Cooksville. Uh, I've done Western Mississauga downtown. And this is gonna be a more of a central Burnthorpe uh, Mississauga walk. Do not enter. Can I cut? Can I cut through somewhere? I don't, I don't know this area too well. Maybe I can cut to the left. It's like do not enter for cars. Yeah, cut through the left. There we go. Get off the side of the wall. I can cut this way. No, it's parking garage. I had a, I had a buddy who used to live in this building right here. It's a nice spot. They have a really good uh, party room. So I can cut this way. This is a nice spot. This is a nice walk. A little bit of shade. I like how the lighting's hitting that uh that bench right there. All right, now we're back on Barnthorpe, but we're on a little walking trail on the side. The street's right there. The street's always fucking loud. That's, I think, the biggest issue about uh, Mississauga downtown, or square one, is just the roads are just super loud. There's too many lanes. I think two lanes going each way is probably good. There's the Pacific Library, Central Library. They're renovating it right now. Fully renovating it. I've been very happy with my uh, weight loss uh, goals. I'm down to 236 pounds. Uh, I played some basketball yesterday. I did it like a really long walk. I did a walk around Streetsville. I didn't record it. I think I just did like a joy walk. But I will record eventually a Streetsville walk. There is Celebration Square. There are a bunch of buildings, condos to our right. great spot over here celebration square just for people watching there's usually food food trucks there i have a video uh it's called walking around the walking around the fastest growing neighborhood in mississauga and uh, i go through all of uh, uh celebration square and uh, downtown uh the city hall all, the, all that stuff A lot of high rises. These are older uh, apartment buildings. Probably like early 2000s, I would say. So 
So now we're gonna cut inside the neighborhood. Uh, I don't think there's really a name for this neighborhood, but it's just, uh, well, technically this whole area is just called City Center or Square One. So I would say this is like City, city Center South. What I like about Toronto is there's a lot of names for all their neighborhoods. They have like specific names for everything. But again, this is Saga. Oh yeah, I've been here before. I did like a gig, a video gig. I do like videography and photography. And I did a gig uh, for like a Christmas. It was for like a Christmas party. So I were uh, recording it in their party room right there. It's a really nice building. It's a beautiful building. Dude, I can't believe it's so warm. Should have wore shorts. So this is Duke of York and and Web Web Drive. The Children's Clinic, Pediatrics. I'm guessing not enough bike parking because people are just parking their bikes and this is uh, trees. I'm saying early 2000s I remember in the early 2000s this, this was like the the look everybody was going for like the lime green glass oh, glass changed a little bit it's changed to like a lighter blue So I can go this way, cut towards Brenthorpe, but there is a little trail that I've never actually been down. So let's check that out. There's another bike trail down that way too. But we're gonna stay close to Brenthorpe Road. I remember it used to be a little park over here, but I guess they, they blocked it off. Is a little muddy, it can cut across this way. Oh shit, oh, almost tripped on a rock. <laughs>
Well, I think there's like a public school on the side. I don't know which one, but. Our trail that goes down this way. Probably closer to Macarthur. I don't know if they're gonna redevelop this land or not, but it's been pretty, pretty empty for a while. Might keep it as a park if you have no idea. The city hasn't decided. Cut across this, uh, toss out my Starbucks cup. There's a Korea Park to the right. Oh, I think there's like a wedding photo shoot happening. This is a nice spot actually. I think I'm gonna wait until it, the leaves start turning a little more red and orange before I start, uh, before I do a walk in Korea Park. The best spot, best times to go to Korea Park are literally in spring. When they first, like when it first, obviously like the leaves start to spring, you know, <laughs> and they start to open up. They start to like grow and obviously in the fall when they all turn orange and yellow but uh judging by like the walking by it's, it's still pretty good still still pretty green so and that's that's ann cole over there it's one of the few like clubs in the neighborhood few actual clubs but there's more coming in there's oh yeah that's just the this is a different restaurant i remember going here a long time ago bombay frank it was like the worst restaurant it was kind of like a kind of like a hooters but not really hooters i forget the name i have found a lake we can walk across is it called the wave now open for takeout half chicken meal the wave bar and lounge I don't know if this place is open anymore, Anco. It looks pretty run down. And company. Oh, wait, people call it Anco. It looks kind of run down. I don't know if it's still there. The company name is still there. So we are turning right onto which street is this? I don't see a street sign. So it's another one of uh, the few office buildings in the area. I think for this like area to really grow, is they need more office office buildings for sure to create more jobs. Because of the LRT, obviously people are going to travel from one point A to point B because you know they're either work there or they live there, right? We got pharmacy, we got convenience store. Oh, F45, it's like a specific kind of gym. I don't know what kind of gym it is, but like, I think it might be a, like a CrossFit gym or I don't know, cardio, because I never see any uh, 
I never see any like weights or anything. It's like mostly like cardio style. Yeah, I've never been down the street. <laughs> There's a hotel down here too. My sweet life. We got a cafe, Indian style cafe, orthodontist. I never knew the difference between orthodontist and a dentist. What's the difference? Aren't they both like teeth or am I just being dumb right now? <laughs> or orthodontist is probably totally something different. It's Chi Chi Lee barbecue. New spot, never, never been here either. I don't know, I, I barely walked down this part of Mississauga. So it's a new experience for me. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> you tell me to move. <laughs> Acne treatment clinic. So I think this is the uh, hotel over here on the left side. Yeah, Starbucks over here too. I mean, no, there's Starbucks on this side. It's like three in the same location. Then we got. Good. Okay, so it's Delta Hotels and Marriott. Okay, I remember I had a family friend who came in. Um, okay, that's, that's a lie. I was here. I, this, used to be, this used to be your parking lot. I came to see him, and then we just hung out at... Uh, we, we, where did we go? We went to, yeah, we went to an Indian restaurant. I remember that. But yeah. Old family friend from a long time ago. Actually, let me walk up the street before I go back the other way. Oh, there's a good fellas here too. They're they're sprouting literally everywhere. I remember there was only like one location at Squirt, at uh, was it Streetsville. Now there's a few in Toronto. There's a few in Saga. Look at a big star. Oh, it's part of it's a lobby. It's part of the hotel. Railroad coffee. A new coffee shop right across Starbucks. Let's see if it survives. I don't, know, I don't know what what do you guys think about the architecture of this building i think it looks kind of it's kind of ugly it's like a pinkish red look i don't know not my favorite building in downtown square one uh let's go back the other way this part of burnthorpe is not as interesting there's just a gas station Driftwood social bar and table. Okay. There are some cool spots. I just have never. Yeah, I just never explored them. We'll, we'll go this way. We'll take a left. I think they're building some, maybe some more office, maybe some more condos, probably. Very, this place is very urban. Not as many cars driving by, that's good. It's a good sign. So, okay, so we are on Matthews and Enfield, okay. Okay, that was the name of the street. We'll cut this way.
Okay, I had 5,000 steps, I don't even know. <laughs> Usually tells me. Maybe you get to 10,000 today. We are getting closer to the end of the uh, end of the tour. So another stretch of Ontario might be turning to condos, most likely. 100%. the absolute towers the actual name is you know absolute towers but like but i think somebody said uh, oh yeah they, they kind of look like the Marilyn monroe buildings because like you know they're very curvaceous like Marilyn monroe so so the name is stuck and now they're called the Marilyn monroe buildings i wonder how much a condominium goes for this area because this is a really really good location for right? urban and uh ontario it's gonna be a street car coming soon across corner Ontario. There's a few retail spots on the side. So this is a prime location for a new development. I did a walk from uh, was it Cooksville Go Station to uh, QEW and Ontario. That'll be up so soon on my channel. I just got to edit the video. It was my birthday weekend. I hung out with some friends, so it was a great it was a great weekend. Like COVID, obviously, you know we've been kind of just you know by ourselves individually. And it was cool to meet some new people, new friends, and then. Meet some old friends from a long time ago. So I had a good weekend, but you know, back to doing some more walks. Back to uh, recording more stuff. Obviously, I'm going to do more walks of the saga. They're taking away the two lanes in the middle and they're turning, adding an LRT. It would have been nicer if it was like kind of grade separated, so grade separation is kind of like. So, right now, the LRT is going to be on the street, so it's going to stop at every red light and every yellow light. But if it was like fully grade separated, it was like above ground. It would not have as many stops, and it would only stop at the intersections. around the complex. 
Yeah, at the tower conference we will do it. That's how I'll end the uh, video. I always like this shot. Right below it, you can see all the ripples. We just get a little bit closer to the bottom. That's pretty cool, right? You can't really tell the curves from really far away, but when you get closer, you can see how much it like undulates and uh, switches. All right, let's go down right there. We'll go around the complex. I wonder if we can cut through this way. So these buildings are also part of the absolute uh, complex, but they're not as interesting, obviously. Oh yeah, I think we can cut through the middle of here. this way I like the tree coverage over there so there's like a second entrance over here on this side so you can come with the back side or the front. Okay, so there's some, there's no retail, but they have like these townhomes. They do have townhomes uh, next to the building as well. So for people who, you know, have kids and like bigger families, they can, uh... because the issue with the uh, apartments is like, obviously there's not many apartments that are like two or three bedrooms. They're usually one or two. This is the south building. Ah, oh, that looks that looks really cool. But the sky looks really nice. park for kids in the middle more townhomes on the right side I wonder if they have like a rooftop patio or something or like it's taken up by somebody else there's a little pool too can't really see it through the video oh no you can see it here you can cut this way here yeah. pool on that side It's the whole, uh, the whole community is gated. So it, like, if you're trying to get through by car, you can't, you have to have access to people living there, obviously. I guess this is parking for uh, the people who live in the townhouses. Obviously these buildings aren't as uh, nice looking, but they're all part of the complex. Okay, I think we are now on Absolute Road or something. I, I think this is called. It was built for the uh, built for the condominiums. We're at eight percent battery. I'm just gonna stop it right now, and then I'm gonna pop new battery.
There's a little patio. Oh, I think it's somebody's house. Somebody's backyard. That's pretty nice. For a good lot of space for a condo backyard. We got some more uh, office towers on the right side. Got Scotia Bank, Desjardins, Element. See, there's a gym on the left side. I I think it's the gym of the uh, condo corporation. This spot, this area does have, does have its own retail. But it's always oh, Pilates, dance, absolute. I'll show you the retail stretch. It's a very really tiny retail stretch. I think for the amount of people that live in these buildings, like four really tall towers, there's gotta be a lot of people and they could probably support a lot more, a lot more businesses. There's a big parking garage over here, I think, for these buildings over here. So that's where the uh, people come in who work at these offices. They park in this spot. I'm pretty sure this place is going to get redeveloped eventually. Because obviously the Heron Cherry LRT is right here. And Heron Cherry Street's right there. It's gonna be a lot more calmer. It's gonna be two lanes, and obviously there's gonna have to get a bike lane as well. We got a spa, absolute mega spa, children medical center. And then we got like a grocery store, like a town and country market. I've never heard of this brand. I always drove by this uh, grocery store, but I've never heard of uh, another grocery store also called Town and Country Market. It's got to be like a, a new franchise. back at the front. We did a little walk around absolute condom or <laughs> absolute condominiums. <laughs> absolute condos. Condoms. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, look forward to some more walks from this channel. Uh, maybe some walks in Tilbico. I have a few more spots I gotta do. I gotta do Streetsville and a few more that I have to upload. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and you guys have an amazing day.